Good evening to the cicadas out here in Plant City, Florida. Just as a little bit of a forewarning, it is getting a little teeny tiny bit spooky in this video because tonight we were invited out to Sir Henry's Haunted Trail out in Plant City, Florida. So just to give you an idea, Plant City is about 45 minutes south of Walt Disney World and Sir Henry's Haunted Trail is just a local haunted trail. You guys know we love our local haunts. So, they invited us out today to get a little preview of what they have coming this year. And we went last year and we had a fantastic time. We're outside in the cemetery right now. My goodness. Oh, all right. Oh, that's not good. Is there somebody right behind? Oh, okay. Oh. There's strings everywhere. My goodness. We'll put a link to that video in the description down below. The cicadas are so loud out here. It's wild. Do you guys hear that? <laughs> Sir Henry's Haunted Trail, like I said, is located out in Plant City, Florida. It has three haunted trails. We're going to go and get a little preview of Captain's Fury, Blood Masquerade, and Nightmare. So those are the three haunted trails names. And like, I wanted to give like a little precursor that these trails are not finished. They're still six weeks out. And like I said, it's a local haunt. So they're working hard to get it done in order for opening night of October 1st. Uh, also, it's a fantastic deal. Like tickets start at $25. One thing I did want to mention though is you have to buy your tickets online this year just because of the way that they're doing things here for COVID and everything like that. So we're going to go in while it's still lighty out and get a look at a couple of the facades or all three of the facades and kind of have a look at a few of the scenes in some of the haunted trails. And then once nighttime falls, get a little bit spookier. We'll go in and have a little bit closer look at some stuff get to meet some characters should be a fun night let's head in so now we are inside of the courtyard for sir henry's haunted trail and you can see there's the tree out here this was here last year and there's a statue of sir henry there this back here is night marrow this gigantic three-story facade is blood masquerade and then up here we've got captain's fury so right here through weeping roses that's how you enter into Captain's Fury. Another thing that they're going to have is they're going to have an escape room here in this orange building. And then back here, you can kind of see this plywood facade back there. That's going to be laser tag. Oh, it sounds like it's going to be a super fun event. Also, I did want to point out that they do have a merch booth too. So that's another way that you can support this local haunt. So there it is. Look at this gigantic facade that they have built. So this will be these two columns right here will be the entrance into the queue line will be set up out here and then you enter into the haunted trail right here through these doors like i said this one is called blood masquerade so i got a little rundown of the story here so the family that lives in this house believe that they are vampires they are not really vampires but they believe that they are and they're throwing their daughter a coming of age party where they are inviting a bunch of people to come to this masquerade. And when the people come to the masquerade, they're taken and strapped to chairs and drained of their blood. And all their blood ends up in wine bottles for them to drink later. Because like I said, they believe that they are vampires, but really they're just psychotic. And then they take the bodies and they throw them into the cellar where they are fed to a creature that lives in the rock caves beneath the house. Yeah, that sounds awesome. I think we might get to meet that creature tonight. All right, so now that it's a little bit darker, we're gonna head into Blood Masquerade. We're gonna have a look at some of the scenes here. Like I said, this place still is under construction. They're hard at work getting it ready for the haunt season. All right, so we are headed into Blood Masquerade. You can imagine this room filled with dancers at a masquerade ball. So like I said, the way the story goes is that you're being invited, guests are being invited to a masquerade where they will be captured and drained of their blood and this right here is the ballroom scene where there'll be all kinds of dancing guests unaware that they're about to have their blood drained and bottled by wannabe vampires. So we're actually heading down into the cellar where they keep the creature and they dump all the bodies down there. And you can see as we come through, they're already draining somebody of their blood in order to bottle it and drink it. We see they've got all these drainage apparatuses. They've got little hoses that they can just come up and grab, like straws, to drink blood from this victim. And then we've got various pumping apparatuses and bottles to store the blood in. And just imagine all kinds of lighting effects and 
actors jumping out at you, scaring you, it's gonna be great. So we are heading down into the cellar right now. All right, so we are headed into the finale scene of Blood Masquerade. You can see they've got bottles of wine or bottles of blood. And then we come into the cellar where the creature lives. Oh no. You can see he's got bodies out here that he's been chewing on. He even has a patient all set up here. Oh no! And now we come up to the facade of Night Marrow, and the story behind this trail is that this used to be the old sawmill in town. And the guy that ran the sawmill was kind of obsessed with collecting bones. And he would go out and he would rob the graves of the town, and he was making a bone throne for himself to sit on. And then when the town found out, they were very angry with him. So they went out and they got him, and they decided that they were gonna hang him. And while he was hanging, ravens came and picked the flesh off of his bones. And right before he died, he swore vengeance on the town. So now every All Hallows' Eve, he comes back. But instead of digging up bones from the cemetery, he takes them from live people. He just rips their bones right out, and the ravens are there to help him. You can see here, this is the, actually the finale of the maze, where they've started putting up some of the components that he was setting aside for his bone throne. He definitely had a lot of skeletons ready to go, and now he's seeking even more. All right, now we are headed into Night Marrow. You never know, we might come in contact with Sidious, the person who is here working at the sawmill. Did you guys just see something? All right, so we are headed into the cemetery where we would meet Sidious digging up the graves. It's this giant mausoleum here see a wagon out there you see some graves off in the distance we gotta head through the mausoleum and the, oh no he's gonna get us just notice one of the graves that has been dug up a Jeffrey Bezos farewell so we get a nice shot of some of the bones that Sidious is collecting and this is actually the facade of the final scene so you're heading in through here to exit the trail you can see he's got quite the bone collection here uh. So this one's called Captain's Fury. So the story goes that there is a young captain who's living in town with the love of his life and then duty calls and he is sent out to sea on a fishing voyage never to return again. He was caught in a freak nor'easter and then when the love of his life finds out that he is not coming back she's so distraught that she throws herself from the lighthouse and then one day the captain comes back. Is he dead? Is he alive? We're not really sure. But as soon as he finds out that the love of his life is no longer with us, then he takes out his wrath on the town with his newfound crew of creatures from the deep. So while we're talking about Captain's Fury, I came into the maze to show you one part of it, and this is what they're calling the boardwalk. I also wanted to point out that this is the lighthouse where the love of the captain's life decided to take her own life. And actually that is something you can see inside. That part's still under construction, so I can't show you that particular area right now, but I can show you this boardwalk. All kinds of fog everywhere. We got lasers kind of making it look like water. Oh my goodness. This is so awesome. And you can imagine like at nighttime, you got scares coming from any different direction that you can imagine. All kinds of little boo holes where they could come out of. Ooh, this is gonna be so good. I cannot wait to go through this trail. Oh wow, this is so awesome. Look at this. It feels like Halloween, doesn't it? Oh yeah. It's gonna be so good. So now we're headed into Captain's Fury. And like I said, still under construction, but we should be able to see a few rooms in here, a few areas of this particular trail, and maybe come in contact with some of the captain's crew, some of the locals, you never know. So as we head into the porthole pub, it seems that some of the locals have already felt the wrath of the captain. All right, the first room that we're gonna head into is the bait and tackle area. See, they've got some props set up over here. We got lighting going on in here. Ooh, that's not good. Jeez Louise. Okay, I thought this was just a preview. I thought we were just out here to see like some construction updates. It's 
sounds like he's following me. Ooh. Oh, okay. I thought that was a prop. Now we're headed over to the boardwalk area. We showed you this during the day, but now it's nighttime. You can see the fog started to roll in. And some of the captain's crew is showing up. Goodness gracious. Look at how creepy this looks. So the, even the captain's pet is here. Ooh, a large shark. Heading into the fish processing area. Oh no. This guy's in the freezer. He didn't make it. And then this is the area where they would clean the fish. This is my favorite detail so far. Just a random hand here. How frightening would that be if that just started moving? Yeah, you can see they've got the chute for the guts down or any blood that they catch. Also, just to let you guys know, I am lighting this scene. This is what you guys are going to see. So this is Pyram, and his character is the one who is manning the escape game. And he has you trapped in a room, and you have to get out before he comes and gets you. And Pyram's backstory is that he came in 2018 and the story goes that if you do not light your jack-o'-lantern by midnight on Halloween night, he will come and exact his revenge on you. Ooh, that was scary. So there you go. That was a little preview of Sir Henry's Haunted Trail. And you guys should definitely come out and see this. Like this, they there's so much heart going into this and they're like putting so much work into making this trail the best that it can be. You should definitely support local haunts because like these things are awesome. Like this type of attraction is fantastic, especially Sir Henry's. Also, it is very affordable. $25. Tickets start at $25. You can upgrade for front of the line passes. The way that it works is the same. They're doing it the same way that they did it last year where you have to buy your tickets online and you pick a time frame to come. So you show up at your designated time and then they give you a color and the color tells you which trail to go to first like you will make it through all three trails um but but depending on what color is loading into that trail it also helps like disperse the crowd so that the wait times are a lot shorter so you're not waiting as long and also the 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 timed entry makes it so the wait times are not as long so it's, it's really like an optimal experience out here as far as a haunted trail goes they even have an annual pass so like you come out here one night and you you really enjoy it then you pay $99 and you can come back as many times as you want to. And that $99 includes front of the line access. Oh, so I also found out that the escape game and the laser tag are only $5 each in addition to your entry into the different trails. So like if you come out on a $25 day, you're spending $35 to do everything here. You can get some merch. They've got food. You're going to have like a food available for purchase while you're here. Like you make an entire evening out of this. So this event runs weekends in October from October 1st, actually all the way through November 6th. So you get two days in November that you can come out after Halloween. And the hours are 7.30 to 11 on Friday and Saturday and 7.30 to 9.30 on Sunday. So lots and lots of time for you to come out here and get your haunt on. Oh, I totally forgot to mention, but one more fantastic thing that they're doing out here at Sir Henry's is a portion of every ticket sale goes to the charity Folds of Honor. So not only do you get a fantastic haunt you also are supporting a fantastic charity i'm so excited for this event like i had so much fun last year and i'm very excited again for this year this video is just a taste they're still doing a lot more construction still getting ready to do a lot more stuff like take for instance there's that tree that's in the center i kind of showed it in the in the opening shot but that's going to have pumpkins all in it it's going to have a light show uh, we'll put in a picture right here 
of what it looked like last year and they said that this year it's going to be even better i cannot wait to see what it's going to look like so all in all a fantastic day thank you to sir henry's for having us out and with that being said we are off we'll see you all tomorrow and now it's time to pay the price